Welcome to our very first episode of the Shine series. There isn't a better time than International Women's Month to launch this series. These virtual discussions are about letting strength shine through with a guest who epitomizes strength, resilience, hope, and optimism. And there is no one better than the record-setting tennis champion, mother, philanthropist, entrepreneur, all-around shoe lover, and Stuart Weitzman global spokeswoman, Serena Williams, to have as our first guest. Welcome, Serena. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. It feels like a really long time since we saw each other. It's, uh, it's been about a year. Um, the last time I saw you was right before the pandemic, um, right before things shut down. It was kind of a miracle we had that shoot together in Palm Beach. Yes. <laughs> I was six months pregnant. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Um, How's your daughter? Well, she's nine months old now, which is oh, wow. crazy. I, I can't imagine how quickly time has gone by. And we have done almost four campaigns together since then. Um, and I have to say, this last one was the best projects I have ever worked on in my career. It has been my favorite campaign of all time called Footsteps to Follow, starring yourself, and of course, a very special guest, your daughter, Olympia. Uh, honestly, it was, I've shot a lot of things, and this is, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but it was the best shoot I've ever been on. It was amazing. <laughs> It's so fun. Well, I'd love to share it here so we can take a look at the campaign together and the video. Do you love mommy? Yeah. Love. Love. Strong. Strong. Dream. Dream. Beautiful. Beautiful. Intelligent. Intelligent. I would definitely call Olympia my mini me. She is mini Serena. She's so cute. She's so fun. I don't know if I hope if Olympia follows in my footsteps. I want her to do whatever she wants to do and what's best for her. Are those my shoes? No. Why would you wear my shoes? Do you want to go somewhere together? Yeah. Yeah, together? Yeah, forever. Forever. Yeah. So great. So great. Amazing. It was so fun to... I don't know. You know, it's also something that I'll be able to show her like in 20 years and you just can't beat that. So I'm not ashamed to say it's my best thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with you saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really it was such an amazing thing to watch. And I, I was, you know, fortunate we could shoot this virtually. Yeah. Um, so I was able to, to sort of watch as it was unfolding and the energy on set was just amazing. I mean, Olympia is such a natural performer. And right, she was such a star. I'm like, who are you? Um, it was so funny because we were getting nervous. We we're like, okay, well, you know, she has her nap and obviously we can't, you know, shoot with kids for that long. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, well, she comes and she came and then she like went nuts. It was like pose, pose, picture. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I got it here. Uh. And then she was out. No, <laughs> That's how you shoot. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She was in and out. She yeah. delivered. She was like totally ruling the whole set. Yeah. Um, it really was amazing to see her kind of blossoming and just having so much fun with you. I, I mean, how incredible to be able to have her on set with you for the first time together on a fashion campaign. Yeah, for the first time. And it's amazing. It was so cool to have her on that set. And I never, you know, I was a little nervous about it at first, I'll be honest. But then, you know, it just, she was so good. And then now, okay, so I see that there's like billboards on Fifth Avenue. And I'm like, we have to <laughs> somehow get there. So yeah. she can see it. Or you guys have to keep it up for a long time. We are. We're going to keep it up for as long as we can. Yeah. It is so That's spectacular. Like, to absolutely see that. And you know, she's all, when she sees me, she's like, Mommy, that's mommy. And now uh, it's just like she has to see herself. It'll be really cool. That's amazing. I mean, I, one of my favorite parts was just you have an incredible soundtrack. And you two were dancing up a storm. Mm -hmm. I know she loves to sort of dance and sing with you at home. And it was just so cute watching you together. It really was so heartwarming. 
It was good. You know, we had our baby shark playing and then we had like <laughs> all those other like, you know, she loves like her little Disney songs. And, yeah. Her, so, yeah, she loves. Yes. Yeah, she loves that body song. I put the, the clean version on, though. <laughs> I'm like, how do you even know this song? She's like, I'm done, anybody. oh my god, it was amazing. And when she was in the shoes, it was so authentic because she always goes in my closet and always picks up the Stuart Weitzman shoes and she <laughs> stands in them, especially the heels in particular. She's definitely biased to the heels, <laughs> um, but she just like she loves it, and it's and it's cool. So I love that we first. I was like, okay. She's wearing heels. This is as a mom, like, I don't know, this is weird, but it was so authentic. It's something that she always does. It's like playing in my closet and yeah. plays with all my makeup and all the shoes. And it was, it was, I'm really happy how it came out. It was a really wonderful image. Yeah. My daughters do that too. They love just going into the closet and picking out stuff. You know, one of the things that I think was so incredible about this campaign um, for me, especially is just this, this notion of how important it is to have that representation matters. You know, if you can see it, you can be it. And this next generation is really looking to us to make a difference. Um, and, you know, you have been such a role model to so many women and girls around the world who look up to you, um, as well as for Olympia as her mom. Um, you know, how do you try to inspire the next generation? And, and what kind of inspiration do you also get from, you know, your daughter? Um, I don't know. I, I really just hope that I inspire Olympia and the next generation of girls to believe that anything is possible um, and mostly to believe in themselves and, um, yeah, to just be strong. And the idea that we inspire those younger than us is um, is amazing, but we also inspire each and every one of us in every single way and every step that we take every single day. So I feel like that is um, something that I would love to continue to have um, young girls ins be inspired by. It's one of the, my favorite parts, I think, of this campaign, just showing the significance of strong, powerful women as role models. And, you know, I've found a lot of inspiration in a lot of what you do. Mm -hmm. um, I think I shared this with you when we first started working together, this little story that actually helped me in, in my role here today. Yeah. Um, you know, watching you play the Australian Open and you were four months pregnant and, and you won. And I saw that journey also come, you know, through your show. Um, and when I was coming into this job at Stuart Weitzman, you know, I had just gotten the C-suite role. I was nine months pregnant and it really felt like I was taking on something impossible. And there weren't a lot of examples of, of people that I could turn to to be like, well, how did you do it? How did you take on this incredible step in your career and your personal life at the same time mm -hmm. and I really thought to myself you know if Serena can do it I can do it <laughs> and here I am and and this is so like incredible for me to be able to have this conversation with you and to tell you thank you for being such an incredible role model to so many yeah um, I'm glad I have an opportunity to do that I, I didn't ever plan to play pregnant period so it just kind of <laughs> happened and when that happens you're definitely not planning on winning you're just planning on surviving right. <laughs> <laughs> I kept surviving and I kept surviving and I'm like okay this is crazy um yeah but yeah I just feel like now you have a story that you can inspire people like because who does that happen to you nine months pregnant and you're getting this amazing opportunity like I feel like now I could come to you for advice. And that's what I was saying earlier. It's not just about um, the next generation. We can inspire people that today, right now, this very moment. Yeah. I mean, watching you make bold moves day in and day out in every aspect of, of your life really does inspire you know others to make bold moves in their lives. Um, you know, I don't know if there's any advice you have when, when women are trying to be able to have the courage and the strength to make a bold move in their life or an example um, to share, but. Yeah, I mean, just 
every, you know, sometimes we're positioned and we're placed in a position where we have to make bold moves every day. It could be in my tennis career where I have to decide in a nanosecond, like, okay, this is a huge chance that I'm going to take on this huge point. And honestly, I think because I've been put in that position so many times that I've been able to make other bold moves, um, in um, my philanthropy, as well as in my business ventures, and even starting the Stuart Weitzman campaign. It was a super bold move to have, and by you guys as well, to have to have a three-year-old. <laughs> and you, I mean, it was really bold. And, you know, I didn't expect that to come in from you all, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is, it could have been something I could have been like, absolutely not. This is, this is never going to happen. But I also think it's really important to always voice your opinions and voice, um, and obviously in a respectful way, but voice um, ideas, ideas that you have because they could become amazing. Like this idea that you guys, you had with, um, with uh, the Stuart Weitzman shoot. So I just feel like it was bold moves happen every day in all walks of life. It doesn't have to be me. You don't have to be a, a professional tennis player, or athlete, you know, to have bold moves. It can happen every single day from a lot of people. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate that. And, you know, at Stuart Weitzman, we, we really talk a lot about this notion of like letting your strength shine through. It's this idea that if you show your strength, you shine and you inspire others to shine too. Mm -hmm. um, and I know how important this notion of strength is um, for you as it is for us. Um, I know you've said in the past that, you know, you named your daughter Olympia because, um, because it means strength, mm -hmm. um, which I think is, is something so phenomenal. And I'd love to understand why has strength been such an important value for you and everything that you do um, well, we can't live in this world and be weak. And if you're a woman or if you're a woman of color, you really need to be strong and you really need to stand up and you can't allow anything to run you over. And I feel like someone like me has tends to have to be stronger than I would have ever thought. And when I was in, in terms of Olympia, when I was pregnant with her, I, I remember looking at my husband saying, um, okay, this is definitely a girl because yeah. no boy, <laughs> no boy would be able to handle all the stuff that I'm putting this kid through. So, um, because we were playing in heat and it was, I mean, Australia gets uh, 42 Celsius. So I knew early on without even checking, I knew it was going to be a girl and I wanted her to have mm -hmm. a name that could help her when she's facing times of tough toughness and I, you know, she's going to have her own battles and her own struggles that she has to go through. And I felt like, what is a name that means strong? Cause this baby is strong. And so I literally just looked in the, I looked up synonyms of strong and, and for names and Olympia stuck out. And I just, uh, I wanted her to know that going forward, her name is strength. So anything that she may face, she can go through it. And then, although my name is, doesn't mean strength, it means calm and peace. I just feel like it doesn't matter what your name is. You just, you just have to be able to be strong and go through things. And that's the world that we live in that unfortunate, unfortunately, but fortunately it builds great character. Yeah. I can definitely relate to that. Um, on many levels, this notion of needing always to push forward, having grit, resilience, Mm -hmm. um, and overcoming adversity and, and wanting that for, for our daughters too. You know, they have their own, their own journey, their own path. They're going to face their own challenges. Um, and every day there's a new challenge. There's a new impossible people telling you, you can't, it can't be done. And, and yet you do it, you know, and it's, it's really remarkable, um, and truly inspiring and, and, um, I can I can very much relate to this notion of you know having this baby in your belly and being like this baby is so strong to be able to get, <laughs> to withstand everything that I'm going through during this process. So um, and seeing Olympia together with you, you can you can see how much um, of that strength um, lives within her spirit too. She's she's truly a remarkable young girl. Mm -hmm. She is. It's. <laughs> She truly is. So, I mean, I, I don't know, you know, 
in terms of if you have a secret or something that you turn to when you feel like you're doing something that feels impossible or when you're starting out something new, whether it's starting your own business or starting, you know, to be out as a new mom or trying something that feels overwhelming or uncharted territory. How do you take that first step? How do you keep going against the odds, overcoming the fear? Is there, you know, what's the drive that keeps you going? So one thing that I've done a lot lately is just educate myself. So whether it's being a new mom or starting a new business, you know, you, I think of it as a test, right? When you go into a test when we were younger, you would prepare for that test. And when you got there, you were like, okay, oh, I know the answer to that, or I know the answer to that one. But I feel like when you're not prepared, then you're just like, a little bit more nervous. So that's kind of how I approach life as well. It's like, okay, well, becoming a mom, just educating myself. And I might not have the same experiences of all the things that I read or the few things that I read, but at least I know what to expect. I know what's coming and I know how to feel. And the same with business. It's like, okay, I get great mentors. I talk to a lot of people that's done it and has been incredibly successful at it and it's also important to talk to people that has done it and made a lot of mistakes so you can also learn from that as well um so then that's kind of how i approach that uh and it makes it makes anything that you go you get started in any new adventure that you want to do it makes it a lot easier i reflect on that a lot this idea of you know how do you surround yourself with the community that supports you or this idea of um, even a sisterhood, you know, of, of others who you can tap into that can help you, whether it's on a journey of motherhood or um, starting your business. Like how even this notion of like women supporting women, which you know I know we believe in very much at Stuart Weitzman, but who is your support system? How do you sort of stand by by them, and how do they stand by you? Who do you draw upon to help you during uh, during these times? They say it takes a village, so <laughs> they say it takes a village. I think that's a tough question because I have a lot of people in my support system, and then there's people that I go to for certain things, and there's people that I go to for other things, and so um, I think it's good to know who's good at what and who's motivating at what and who can you know build you up when you need to be built up and who can be completely honest with you when you need that as well so i feel like there's a lot of pieces to the part i think a support system isn't someone that just you know is super supportive and like whatever you want to do i got your back i think it's more or less someone that is able to say that but also is able to say listen this is not a great idea or this is what we need to do or this is the this is where you need to change mm -hmm. um and yeah, for me as a support person, that's totally my personality. I just tell uh, people like, listen, I have nothing to gain if, if I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest with you and obviously season my words with salt, but be super honest and um, let you know what's best because at the end of the day, it can only help you, not hurt you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think this notion of, of you know, sisterhood and, and support system is something that has been so important, especially, I don't know, this past year, I can, you know, reflect on for myself, I, going through this pandemic um, has been so difficult for so many, and I could not have have done it if it wasn't for for my mother, if it wasn't for my <laughs> family who helped me day in and day out to be able to uh, juggle all of these things um, and also my friends and I know you have an, an incredible relationship also with your sister Venus who is literally you know sisterhood in the literal sense and and she helped with your incredible new home um, which looks spectacular um, and I, I'm just you know curious about this idea of women supporting women um, and how you feel like it has made a difference for you during this time. Yeah, I think it's so important. I think sometimes women were grown up to, were, were brought up to be in competition with other women. So I feel like I compete against other women all the time. So obviously you, there are there is competition, but that doesn't mean you can't support them. Mm. And I think that that message was missed um, in a lot of generations or just in general for growing with a, or having, you know, girls grow up. So, you know, you look at men and they could 
be in all kinds of competition. They could be in businesses and they all like are really rough. And then at the end of the day, it's just like they still support each other, call yeah. have this deal for you or whatever, or pass on information. So I think it's completely okay um, to be supportive of each other. And I think it's just taking, like I said, it's just taking a lot of time to just re-educate how uh, we are brought up in general and how to change the narrative uh, mm -hmm. and say that we could go tooth and nails, but it doesn't mean that we have anything against each other. I actually right. support you and I want the best for you too. Yeah. You know, I, I was um, really inspired by the statement you made um, this week about Meghan Markle, who I know is a dear friend of yours as well. Um, and, you know, talking about having the courage and the strength and, and changing the narrative and how important that is. Um, I'm just curious, why was it important for you to make that statement? Um, Megan is a great person. And I think the epitome of strength, the epitome of confidence, the epitome of um, just selflessness and the epitome of everything is just her and everything that she's gone through. And I know it's not easy. And you could see from the interview that it wasn't easy. But she had so much poise and she still had so much, um, she just, so much class. You know, I just, I just think that she is really one of the strongest person I know. I don't know anyone else that could handle everything on such a global scale, the way that she's had to handle things that are just untrue minute after minute, not even day after day, but just minute after minute, just another untrue allegation being thrown at her. So, um, I think it was important for me to say something because I'm tired of sitting back and seeing, you know, all this negativity. That's just not true. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, it truly is. I mean, she, her strength and courage is such an inspiration. Um, and I think the importance of, as you said, you know, women supporting women and standing by each other is, is also quite important. So I, I really appreciated your statement. Um, and, and also just the friendship that you both share. So I know that obviously you love shoes. We have this segment that's really called Footnotes. And um, we really want to talk about this idea of how, you know, is there a shoe that changed your life? You know, I have an emotional memory in terms of certain clothes or certain shoes that yeah. really defined a moment for you. Is there a shoe that changed your life that comes to mind? Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of shoes that, you know, you see in your calls and you remember different moments and you're like, oh, I wore that then. And it's like a moment that you'll never forget. Um, for me, I always hold on to those moments and those shoes. And I have to say the, the Lila, the cheetah sandal that Stuart Weitzman has is, um, a moment for me because I feel like that photo with Olympia is so iconic and yeah. it was cheetah. Oh. <laughs> one of my favorite prints. Um, and so I just feel like her in that shoe, me in that shoe, it's just something that I'm, oh, never, like, I'm always going to keep that one around. Also, um, the boot that, that goes really high up the knee. Oh, the 50-50. Yes, yes. One of my favorite shoes of all time. You know how this yeah. goat, that is, that is the goat of shoes. <laughs> This is a goat of boots. I had that boot <laughs> at least, and I've bought, I probably had about 10 different pair throughout my life um, <laughs> because it is the shoe of shoes. Um, yeah. So well, having the goat talk about the goat of shoes is kind of an amazing honor. <laughs> it's true, though. That, that boot is. You know, I never, I can't, I have one in my, and I have one in my house in LA. I have one in Florida. Like I, I just have that. Cause I know that is my go-to. You can never go wrong with it. And so, um, yeah, so that's kind of, shoes can definitely change your life. And <laughs> they, can have, they can be fun shoes or they can be solid shoes. With ours. I remember, I remember you loving that pink pump that we had too. And it was I know, so I feel like I love that one too much because I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm wearing it again. Another shoe. The Annie pump. I mean, you look so amazing in it. Yeah. And I feel like every time I do something, um, when you guys are not around and I'm doing other shoots, I'm like, it, it goes perfect with this one. And I'm like, okay, well, 
that's five different times now that I've worn this shoe. Social's going to be like, Karina, <laughs> she really loves her Stuart Weitzman Annie's. Well, if a so, shoe fits, you buy it in every color, you yeah. know. <laughs> I actually had a little... Um, little surprise that I wanted to share with you here, which I think was, it was so funny. I recently moved. Um, we finally moved as a family here and we were just unpacking this past week. Um, and one of the things that I had done when we moved here, I wanted my daughter Leia to have, um, sort of a new toy when she came here to help her kind of get situated and to, to be welcomed into the new home. Mm -hmm. And I had hidden it in one of the boxes and she unpacked as she was going through my closet and packed all of these boxes and pulled this out and I have quite my hair. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, she was, <laughs> I just, and she pulled it out and she was playing with it all day yesterday and I was like, oh my God, I'm seeing Serena. I have to show her this. <laughs> that's the best doll. She's so fun. I love that everyone loves her. And that's what I wanted. It's such good energy. Um, and really, it's it's such she's such an adorable doll. So I'm, I, I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was such an amazing uh, coincidence, actually. But I, um, I, I love it. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, I truly want to say thank you. Um, thank you so much. It is always such a pleasure talking to you. Um, Julie, you continue to inspire everyone around the world with your bold moves. Um, and we, we can't wait to see what's next. Um, and to our listeners, our viewers, thank you so much for joining us for the very first episode of the Shine series. Um, and until you know our next conversation, we hope you feel inspired to shine boldly and confidently with every step and continue to let your strength shine through in everything you do and we couldn't be more honored than to have serena williams here with us today thank you so much it was it was so great to be here and good to talk to you as well